I, I thought this match was a half hour when it was all said and done. Like Could have been an hour. 25. Didn't feel a minute longer than it needed to be. I Except did, for one. I do one, disagree. But, well, there yeah, was. When, when Sabio first came out, you know, for some reason, I don't know what he was waiting for or what they were waiting for. But man, he stood there in the aisle freeze. <laughs> and he stared at Finn Balor and uh, I think it was Finn and, and uh, Dominic. He just stared at these fuckers for like an hour. And I was like, what are we waiting for? Somebody do something. And finally, Finn goes running and he got all chopped and kicked. And then Dominic got all chopped and kicked. And man, they were going crazy for this guy, chopping and kicking these blokes. And uh, it was great. These run ins were unbelievably awesome. Oh, how, how that. I like Bad Bunny, and I like Damian Priest, but the, 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 the cameos were the highlight of this by miles and miles and miles. So the match is still going. Priest is still out there working on one leg. Uh, Bunny hooks the figure four, which is the finish of many guys, including, of course, Carlos Colon, which the announcers did not note. But uh, he's making the, well, running wild. He tries to slice bread number two, basically dropped himself on his own head. Oh, fuck. I thought he was dead. That was significantly scarier than anything EOS guy did, or frankly, anything else, anyone else in the show did. He seems to be alive, as far as I can tell. Uh, and he whacks the bad leg with a chair many, many times, hits a destroyer, and wins. Like, this is really, really, really good. It would have been better five minutes shorter. Ah, fuck it, Vinny. It was perfect. You know what I liked about the match a lot was it was Bad Bunny and Damien Priest. Bad Bunny sings songs or something. He's a bard. I don't know what this fella does. But uh, Damien Priest, I know what he does. He's a wrestler. Yeah. Okay. So you had a you had a celebrity coming in facing a wrestler in a street fight. And when you when you say those words, celebrities coming in to face a wrestler, who by the way is not like some nothing happening little guy. It's fucking Damian Priest, a big giant dude. How how does uh, Bad Bunny beat Damian Priest and make it be in any way believable? Well, the way they worked this match was Damian Priest had him beaten a minute in. Bad Bunny hit him with a Michinoku driver. Priest kicked out at one. Grabbed this guy. Hit him with South of Heaven. One, two. He pulls him up at two. He could have squashed this celebrity, mm -hmm. but he didn't. He made a mistake. So then they keep doing their match and everything like that. And what happens? Well, Damian Priest... There's only one man who can hurt Damian Priest, and it's Damian Priest. He throws that kick, and he is the one who kicked the post and broke his own leg. So now he's on one wheel. He's he's injured himself after being cocky earlier, and now he's an injured man. You know, the bad guys try to come in, and all the babyface show up, and they run all those guys off. And then, of course, you know, Damian Priest is injured. His leg gives out. And now, you know, Bad Bunny's got the advantage here. He hits him with a bunch of chair shots and everything like that. Destroyer and pins him. I thought if you're going to beat Damian Priest and not do it in a way where, like, you know, all the other guys run in and they beat him. If, if Bad Bunny's the one who was going to beat Damian Priest, this was the way to do it. You gave Damian Priest an out one minute in. And then the big key moment in the match where he got injured and was unable to recover was something he did to himself. So I thought the booking of this match was just absolutely fantastic, start to finish. This was a wild success, way better than I would have imagined. And uh, this was going to be a tag. It was going to be, um, I think it was going to be... Uh, Ray Jr. and... Uh, I think Ray and uh, and Ray Bad Bunny, Bunny. versus Finn and Priest. I think it was probably going to be Priest and, or and Dom. Dom. Yeah, but yeah. one way or the other, it's going to be a tag. And so when they announced that it was a single, I was like, well... You know, they can do the smoke and mirrors. It'll, still, it'll, be, it'll be pretty good, but I'm surprised it's a single. This was, I mean, miles, miles better than I expected. Miles better than I had any right to be. You know, a lot of times I try and come up with ideas. What would I have done here? Dude, I couldn't have come up with anything half as good as what they did. This was absolutely great and uh, made the show. I agree with Vinny. It could have been five to seven minutes shorter. It would have been a lot better. But uh, after Priest kicks the post, they roll inside. He goes to throw another kick. Bad Bunny catches his leg. He puts his foot on top of his shoulder, and he drops to his knees. Mm, yeah. And that is when Damian Priest realized, I'm screwed. Yeah. <laughs> he grabbed his leg. He was selling his leg. And then his face 
said panic. He was panicked. He didn't know what to do. I know Brian in the past week has said that uh, he would never, if he had a promotion, he would never let anybody sell their leg. It worked. It worked way better than it should have. And uh, I cannot say that this was a bad match by any stretch of the imagination. This was a success. Loading up on some liquid energy here. Uncle Howdy. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? <laughs> That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. Why You're does he do that? me to explain Uncle Howdy. Yes. Someone needs to put that to music, some 70s song, for the best of the Brian and Vinny show. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. We're going to get kicked off whatever run. Boo. You just disgusted Granny. That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. What a jamming song that is. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.